welcome back to the show. My guests, Jalinda and Chip, are here, and we're still talking about the Grove Fest. Jalinda, can you tell us about um, the daytime and at night when it's kid friendly, family friendly, <laughs> sure. and when the kids need to go home? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely kid friendly during mm -hmm. the day. It's one thing that we've seen um, kind of evolve about the festival in over the years. Um, so, what we have, one of the the big um, features of the festival um, is a paint by numbers mural. This year we're working with Craig Downs, a St. Louis artist, to do a mural and it's exactly what it says. It's paint by numbers. Anybody who's participating in the festival can come put on a, a smock and, and paint, choose the number that they want to, you know, where they want to fill in and so that's a really unique uh, feature of the festival that How people... How big is this mural? The mural should be around 8 feet by 20 wow. feet, so it's really big. There's plenty for everybody uh -huh. to do, to participate in, and it's a piece of work that, you know, when you come back to visit the Grove to have dinner, you can say, I worked on that. So it's actually going to be... Um It'll in be, the Grove, it'll be, where will it be for people to? It, it'll, well, it'll be uh, on a building within the footprint. We haven't quite decided yet exactly yeah. where it's going to go, but it will be a permanent piece of art. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> really cool. So, you know, that's one thing that's really kid-friendly. Um, we'll also have a juggler in, during mm -hmm. the course of the festival, and we have this awesome feature, which is a bubble bus, and it's lots of fun. What um, is that? It's, um, <laughs> it's a bus that just sprays these amazing amount oh, of cool. bubbles, and not only kids like it, but adults like it, and it creates an atmosphere that's really, really neat. That's cool. I, I went last year, and I saw a lot of families there during the day, so mm -hmm. it's a really cool place to take your kids during the day. Yeah. Um, tons of vendors. Sure. All the businesses sure. on, on the Grove. Talk a little bit about some of the vendors sure. that'll... So Either. we'll probably have over 40 to 50 different merchants out wow. that will be offering all kinds of wares from crafts to artwork and mm -hmm. specialty items. And uh, so that's an exciting part. But, uh, but uh, we're mostly proud of the fact that the, the food and the, and the beverage is all going to come from restaurants within the Grove. And by spring of 2014, the Grove will have over 20 different restaurants and wow. bars. And it's an eclectic mix, um, a lot of ethnic food mm -hmm. and very diverse all the way around. And uh, this year for Grove Fest, if we, if we start from the east end of the Grove and work our way west, I'll just read off some of the mm -hmm. venues that'll participate with either food or beverage. Uh, starting all the way at the east, we'll have Rehab, mm -hmm. Just John, uh, a new bar opening soon, Siam, Handlebar will be back, Atomic Cowboy will be there, a new coffee shop opening called Rise, mm -hmm. a new bar, opening called Taha Tiki Lounge, mm -hmm. Sanctuaria, well known for great cocktails and food, mm -hmm. the Gramophone live music venue and bar, Soho will be there, Layla, Samim's, O'Shea's, and Myers Grove. Wow, that's so a lot of stuff. A lot of different. Uh, so yeah. it's, it's American food, ethnic food. Um, Mediterranean, Mediterranean, just pretty much a little bit of everything. Cool. So will they be set up as like kind of like a food <coughs> we'll truck have, kind of thing? Sure. We'll have tents down the middle of the street, so people it'll be sort of mixed in uh, uh, with the with the arts and crafts and the the food bars. They'll all be sort of mixed in down the middle of the street, so people can sort of mix and mingle and enjoy. I think one of the more exciting things even about the list of vendors that we talked about or the list of merchants is that a lot of them or a handful of them will be making their debut at Grove Fest. Oh, wow. So we won't know what they are like until they get there. So that's really that's exciting. And that's a really great way to boost businesses too, their business there mm -hmm. probably. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, what is one of the things that you all look for? What's your, you've been doing it for a while. What's your favorite part of, about Grove Fest? Um, I'd say probably the people watching. Mm -hmm. Um, we get, you know, with every kind of bar and every kind of restaurant, we get every kind of people coming into the Grove. We're sort of an entertainment district and we're the highest concentration of 3 a.m. bars in the city right now. So we're known as a late night entertainment district. We get every kind of people and they, and they all turn out for Grove Fest and uh, it's a lot of fun. I think last year the weather was kind of chilly, so people were yeah. breaking out their sweaters for yeah, the first it was time. The first, so. I remember it was the first day I wore a coat, and I was like, whoa, it's cold. <laughs> people watching is yeah. great. Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. We're out of time. In case you haven't realized that the Grove neighborhood is the happening place to be, we'll learn more about another outdoor cultural experience going on there next when, next when we talk to Rick Dilding of Shakespeare Festival St. Louis. Stay tuned.